the meet the parents thing, which I was nervous about because I never introduced a significant other to my parents before. And I think they were just happy that I brought somebody home because I didn't start dating anybody until I was 23 and I didn't bring my boyfriend home until years after that. So my mom's request for a person got broader and broader as years went by. <laughs> At first she was like, I want you to bring home a God-fearing man. And then years went by and I didn't bring anyone home. And she goes, I want you to bring home a man. And then years went by, and she goes, I want you to bring home a woman. It's cool. <laughs> totally fine. I just don't know what you're doing. Can't really read it. <laughs> and then years went by, and she goes, you know what? You do you. I'll just adopt some grandkids. I don't care anymore. <laughs> but it's good. My relationship with my mom is... is getting stronger, which is really cool. I figured that as I got older, my relationship with her would be more adult to adult. But what's happening is I'm becoming an adult and she's becoming a teenager. <laughs> is that happening to anybody else? It's so strange. She keeps doing and saying things that she thinks are really cool, but they just weird me out. We were talking about recently, because my brother's going to art school in Colorado, so he's, he's minoring in <laughs> And she goes, I don't know why he had to go all the way to Colorado for I can get whenever I want. <laughs> and I was like, you can get whenever you want? Do you have a dealer? And she goes, no, it's in my room which is not getting <laughs> that's having <laughs> And I was like, okay. And she was so proud of it. She's like, yeah, I can smoke anytime I want. And I was like, cool. And then changed the subject very quickly. <laughs> I think that may have been an invitation for us to smoke together, but I didn't want to take it because I smoke and drink to escape my life stressors. <laughs> And if I get high with one of my main life stressors, I don't think I'm gonna have a good time. And when I went to visit her, I had a rental car and I let my mom drive it. And the steering wheel was thinner than the steering wheel in her car that she drives every day. So she made note of it and was like, this steering wheel's too thin. I like a big, thick steering wheel. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, you know why? Because it reminds me of gripping a big <laughs> And I was like, no! <laughs> and then she kept going. And was like, yeah, bet you didn't think I had a preference. And I was like, why would I ever... Think about that. No, it hasn't crossed my mind. But looking back at how many grips and covers and cushions my mom used to put on her steering wheel when I was younger, <laughs> safe to say that mommy likes it big. Which is good for me to know because it shows me that we have more in common than I thought.